and two from the Open Men's Division. The winner will go straight through to the grand final tomorrow. The loser through to the preliminary final at 7 o'clock tonight. Matt Blomley alongside me for this one. Matt, how do you see this one playing out? This should be an absolute tight battle. Both teams have suffered injuries this week at ton, which has depleted them when they've played each other. Results have gone either way. We're looking, Victoria have gone for a settled combination as of Queensland. I think it's going to be an absolute ripper game. Uh, Tim Malmo out for Victoria after a severe knee injury yesterday in the match against New South Wales. And uh, Victoria probably smarting from that 15 goal loss also. I would imagine so. Knowing Christina Popolo as a coach, she would have regrouped well, she would have got them internal, they would have worked out an absolute game plan that they're going to finish with, and they'll be positive going into this game still. Can't wait to see how this one pans out. We'll be back right after this. This one, and a win apiece throughout the earlier rounds. Nine goal victory to Queensland on day two. Victoria reversed that 64-59 on day four. And very close, came down to the last game yesterday to determine final positions. Queensland had to beat South Australia by more than 31 goals yesterday to be able to finish top two. And that meant that New South Wales had to beat Victoria by 21 or more to finish in the top two and couldn't do it. Such a close contest this year. New South, they've continued the flow on that they had last year. They were a young team. They probably exceeded expectations last year. And I think they've stepped it up. This It really is a battle of the three teams at the moment. Results could go anyway. At the moment, we've got perennial finalists, Victoria and Queensland, where results have gone both ways over the last few years. Hopefully, it's another ripper contest. <laughs> Not much separating them in the ladder. In fact, just 1.2% between Victoria and Queensland, and then a further 1.4, a matter of goals between Queensland and New South Wales. And each team losing twice throughout the uh, opening eight games. So they know what it's like to have to rebound from a loss, and Victoria have to do that again today to go straight through to the final tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Victoria will be absolutely determined to go straight through to the final. It's something they work for every time that they're here in the Nationals. They want to be there. They want the break. Now, there's no surprises here in the lineups that we're going to have from both Queensland and Victoria. For Victoria, we've got Tim Walker, goal shooter, Daniel Cook, goal attack, Andrew Simons in wing attack, Guy Keane in centre, James Robertson, wing defence, Will Jamson, goal defence, and Alistair Punchin in keeper. For Queensland, junior Levi in shooter, Jamie Bruce in goal attack, Matt Atkins in wing attack, Gary Passion, season campaigner there in centre, Stephen Kerr, wing defence, Caleb Meredith, goal defence, Fraser Lowry, goalkeeper. And Queensland having to battle a few injuries this week too. Queensland with the first centre pass, Passion stuck on the initial phase. Bruce, good oh, by Punchin. Punchin. Keane. Jamison, Cook, back to Keane, over the top to Walker. 
And that is what El Punchin is there for. He's there to have a go at the ball. He's not going to get every one of them. He's come up from the 23s from last year. He's still only a young fella. God is exciting to watch. A tip from Fraser from behind on the pass to Walker and Queensland into attack now. Meredith, Kerr, back to Meredith. Passion. Atkins out wide. Oh, Daniel Cook nearly getting away with the hands on that ball. Didn't start yesterday. Do you think that would have played on his mind or do you think that was a, a resting of his body? Uh, I think in his case, he's needed to rest his body a bit. He's coming back from an injury, leading up in the preseason. He's probably not as fit as he would like. Such a season goaler, though. You can rely on him. He has his head switched on all the time. So one all after the first minute. Big ball into Levi. And makes good with that. Victorian centre through Keane. Two offers to the same side there through Simmons and Cook. The thing with the Victorian attack line is the three of these guys, goal attack, wing attack, centre, and Guy Keane, Simo and uh, Daniel Cook, played together for years now. Such an experienced combination. And Walker levels. Passion, Bruce. I don't think I've ever seen Jamie Bruce this energetic at goal attack. <laughs> he knows he's got to put in a big effort today if Queensland are going to be a chance. And Levi basically under the ring for that shot. Victoria on the attack through Keane, circle edge. Stephen Kerr literally holding Andrew Simons around the circle. And Victoria level it at three all. Passion, Atkins. Robinson, that was a good block to keep Bruce out of that play. Jamison comes up with it. Victoria on the attack. It's a very physical contest early. A lot of hands, a lot of pushing. People are really determined this one. They're going to give a great physical contest. Contact well off the ball in the goal third. third. Circle edge against Kerr and Cook delivers on the Queensland centre. So Victoria have a chance to convert the turnover. I don't think Kerr's going to be fast enough to keep up with Simons there. He's a very experienced defender, but I just can't see him matching the speed. Cook swings it. Contact from Passion. And Walker likes the high delivery. Likes to shoot from there. Nice tap down, though. May not have got the close shot. Nice tap down. Rips the ball in. So Vic with a break, 5-3. Atkins, back to Passion, contact on Robertson. In the goal third, Passion to take it. Atkins, Bruce detoured, then was missed on the offer. Out of the hands of Levi there. And Gary Passion's been feeding those balls in since before Junior was born, I think. <laughs> I hear he invented netball. I, that is a rumour I've heard as well. But he's still there. He still has a go. Big and ball from Keane. Walker's got to finish that. A yeah, goal shooter in Omenja can't be missing those close ones. Break on Jamison there. Meredith to take it in the goal third. Passion offers. Ball Ooh. straight into Junior Levi. Just placed a, bit too, placed a bit too much on that Gary Passion. Put it a bit too far Will Jamison read that really well. Alistair on the front Jamison. hold. Jamison read that. Passion first hands. Alistair with the two on one. Levi with the screen. Bruce with his first shot of the game. Al Punchin having a good crack there. Still trying to get back and have a go. It's going to take a 60 minute effort to be able to deny that attack and the ball. I imagine his calves are burning after every <laughs> game down there. The amount of jumping he has to do. Good delivery from Simon there. And Victoria up 7-5. Five, five gone in the first quarter. 1v2 in the open men's division. And one win apiece in there. Great ball by matches. Jamie Bruce. 
into good space, out of the way of Punchin. I think Kerr could probably commit to probably coming out at a centre pass to put a bit more pressure on Simons. He's a bit uncontested there. And he's giving him the easy drive after it because he's trying to play catch up, I think. Four Simons wide and then shut down that next option where he looks for the front cut. Passion with the centre stuck for an option. Meredith is available. Victoria playing a hard wall there. They are. Really jumped the line, kept it in. Physical. And they get the held ball. Maybe talked into it by the players there a little bit, the umpire. He did hold it for a while, that said. Fraser with the contact on Walker. And oh, reset by the umpire. Bit of extra tape on the back of Larry's bibs there. They are prone to come off. Maybe not quite the quality Velcro that he would like on there. Probably should talk to uh, Game Clothing about that, broadcast sponsor. I, I dare say he's had his uh, shirt for a number of years. Maybe it's time for him to buy a new one. Probably time for an upgrade. The guys from Game, if they're listening, maybe supply Fraze with a new top. Or a bit more Velcro, maybe industrial strength. Good ball there from Keane. Bullet pass into Walker. And the Vicks lead 10-6. Queensland centre pass. They're just getting stuck on first phase through their attack end. This wall's been really effective for Victoria so far. They're playing the hard. They've moved into a box through from there. Oh, Al Punch and just gets caught slightly off. But there's a lot Levi of movement in that goal circle. A lot of big bodies. Levi on the drive there. It was probably open. Oh, I think that was a bit of a tough call then. Al Punchin had good position. James Bruce comes firing through. I'd be inclined to just let that go. It was a good contest. Vix with a centre pass through Simons. Robbo. And here's the patient Daniel Cook that we can see. Not, doesn't let anything phase him. Patient, patient, patient. Unfortunately, an obstruction call to Tim Walker there. Just trying to hold out Fraser Lowry a bit too much. Queensland are really stuttering on their transition out of defence. That box is creating a bit of havoc. Bruce Free now, top of the goal, third. Atkins, big ball, high ball into Levi. Nice jump from Punchin. I'd like to see a bit more from Atkins at wing attack at the moment. I think if he can really switch on, his connections can be fantastic. Use his speed. But he is up against one of his former Aussie 23's teammates, James Robertson. Great contest so far between those two. Passion. Just looks straight into the circle. That's such yeah. a tough hold to stop as well. Al probably just needs to keep his eyes up a little bit more. Al Punch in there and goalkeeper to have a go at that ball, time that jump. And almost a touch there from Kurt. Cook on the drive. Swings it back to Robertson. Keen. Construction on the outside, quick taking of the penalty to Walker. And that was a terrific ball in, just caught the eyes down of the defenders there. Bruce, Queensland. Oh, nearly gets a hand to the ball, but Levi finishes as we always expect. Quick play, quick look into the circle, which is something I think Queensland have struggled to do throughout the week, they seem to be a little bit hesitant in their feeding to Levi, but they have no fear today. It surprised me that they've had that trouble early in some of the games, and I have seen a couple of the same ones. There's no difference in their lineups to what they've had realistically for the last couple of years. I'm not sure what they're doubting there. Yep. They've got to back themselves. Yep. They've got the experience. They know these connections work. Levi, seven foot two in the old language. Oh, and pushes him under it quite well there, Al Punchin. Makes him work for it. I think that was a great contest there. That's what he's got to do. He's got to just keep working the body. Just try and get a change there. Victoria sent a pass with five to go. The lead is just one. Passion. Just contact on Keane there. Jamison, Keane. Out wide to Cook. Good pop-up. Look to fake to Simons. 
and the defenders were drawn. Yeah, Meredith was just called out of the play there. He was trying to overcorrect. I don't think he ever would have got that ball if it had gone to Simons. He should have just stayed back a post. Stay at home. Levi again, they seem to be favouring that left-hand side of the court to feed to Junior. Maybe they feel that that's Punchin's weakest side to contest. Robertson, Keane, broke free well of done, passion. Kerr, good hands. Draws the offside, though. Probably could have done with an advantage call there from the umpire. Like to see the game flow. Simons with a caution early to Kerr there for persistent obstruction outside the circle. And here's the thing with Daniel Cook's shot. If you're going to jump at it, he will always get the ball to the tall. He's brilliant at getting the ball to any one-on-one -on -one contest to the tall. Good timing, good ball placement. Victoria, take it back out to two, 14-12. Atkins, Bruce, hasn't handled the ball much in the past couple of minutes. Looking to drive there, a bit late to it, but passion straight into Levi. Well held, then. He just waited for the jump. Waited, waited, waited. This is in, not a problem. Vicks now through Keane, Cook, Robertson mishandles. Cook backs up. Jamison, Keane. Vicks go back to the centre third to reset. Keane, almost a held. Cook, good cut in front of Walker. Fraser and Mary, there's just stationary there. Yeah, a bit of miscommunication there. I'm not quite sure where Meredith was headed, but was a bit suckered in. It's been a great work rate from Jamie Bruce defensively so far. We just need to see him lift a little bit and attack, I think. He's just hanging back a little bit. I think they're just content to, when there's a one-on-one, -on -one, just get it to Levi. And for Bruce to act as a, a third feeder and a decoy. Good well jump done, from Punchin. Great hands. Keen. Oh, Simons. terrific contest by Kerr and Simons there. Fraser out of play. Larry for contact on Walker. Cook takes the penalty, passes it off. Vix out by three with the centre pass. Under two minutes remaining in the first quarter here at the Gold Coast Sports and Leisure Centre. Day six of the 2017 Australian Men's and Mixed Netball Champs. Streaming. Queensland need to apply more pressure across that transverse line. They're letting the easy pass come through. The next ball's also come through. There's got to be more pressure. Stark contrast to their game on day four. Queensland led 18-12 at quarter time, but Vicks hit back in the second quarter, 18-8 to lead by two Great at half time. by Lowry. And if Fraser Lowry can switch on and keep it for them, he can be an absolute asset. Terrific ball in punt. Queensland sent a pass and the opportunity to bring it back to one. Passion, Bruce, Atkins on the drive. Looks straight into the circle. That's an interesting call. I think they're both going up in the air on that one. I I'm not sure one's interfering more with the other and one's entitled to any more space than the other. Well, no. I think unless you have the ball, space is neutral, but... I think Junior's sort of taking space into the body as he takes the shot, so it's probably something you'd want to keep an eye on. It's a hard one. There is obviously that fine line between at what point does someone push into each other. Yep. But we want a contest. And a contest is definitely what we're getting down that end. Last 30 seconds of the first quarter. Meredith is short. So a pass or shot to Cook in the circle. Passes it off to Walker. Lowry's short there. Can't believe the call, but anyone with a measuring tape that's in working order would see that that was not three feet. Passion, last roll of the dice for Victoria in this, sorry, Queensland. And that will not count. So the Vicks take a two goal lead at quarter time in the major semi final. Day six of the 2017 Australian Min and Mixed Netball Champs will be back after this.
And we're back for the second quarter players just about to come back from the break. 17-15 to Victoria at quarter time. A much more steady performance from Victoria in that first 15 minutes. Yeah, there was, they've come out absolutely firing defensively. The defensive wall was working for them really well. They did drop off a little bit towards the end, I think, but really calm in attack. A lot more settled, not panicking like they have in a la couple of last games. Queensland absolutely determined as well. I think the work rate, as I said, of Jamie Bruce has been terrific at goal attack. Probably want to see him put up a couple more shots. He's a more than capable goaler yep. out in front of Lever. But that ball getting launched in has really opened up. They've already made a change by the looks of it. Steve Kerr has gone into goal defence. And we've seen Glenn Ormusher come into wing defence. Ah, I've also known Matt Atkins come off at wing attack and we've got Josh Schultz in that, that position. So Victoria underway for the first play of the second quarter. That was crisp transition. Passion, Schultz. And a bit too much on that ball from Schultz. Schultz can be a little bit costly sometimes at wing attack. We'll see what he can bring today. Keen with a quick one too. Passion with the, uh, probably would have been great for an offside there. Still remained in Victorian hands. Simmons. Got to rip that in. Yes, there may have been a little bit of a hand from Lowry in there, but I think as a shooter, you've got to try and rip those balls in just to really let the umpire know that they've contacted you. Certainly could have had a second bite at the cherry. Alistair punching, directing traffic out in front. That ball. Levi with his Levi. trademark rip in. Really make sure people know that he's got the ball. So Kerr back also to a more comfortable position at goal defence. Probably does his best work in the circle. Yeah, I think he's definitely much more comfortable inside the circle and out of it. It gives him a chance to read the play a bit better and do some more swaps. Queensland draw it back to one. Vic center pass through Keane. Cook. Back to Robertson. Jamison. Now this transverse pressure much better from Queensland this quarter. We spoke about that last quarter. I think that's what they need. Cook makes his way in Just and fall short. Just short for Cook. Oh. Vic's closing that middle corridor. But Great talk defensively. Make it down the left-hand side, Queensland. Contact on punching. Bruce. Dish off to Levi. Yeah, our punching can't afford to be out of play that far out. And it's all square. 18 all. And oh. quick ball. High ball into Levi. There's no other way to deliver it. Nearly gets up there for both of those balls. Great second effort from him there. And Queensland take the lead. Keane, Cook, better defensive work on first phase from Queensland. And another tip from Lowry. That's the phrase of Lowry we can see And picked off by Kerr. He's a physical presence. He's really intimidated. I'm not sure that ball was quite on there either from Guy Keane. Walker hadn't quite held his position well. Fraser had pushed him out of it. Probably don't need to force that ball. Not with the way their attack line's been going so far. Destruction on Jamison. So, free pass to P Passion. And Queensland extended to two. Lead the quarter break 5 1. Three minutes gone in the second oh. quarter. That was an interesting layup by Junior Levi then. He, throwing his body around a bit. I was a bit worried he was going to lose his feet, but managed to sink it. Simons, Cook, usually shoot from there, not comfortable, S bit hesitant. Cook's not back in his shot, he's normally such a good long shot, but obviously just trying to get himself closer to the post. That's a better shot. And he's trademark clap after the shot, determined head down, trying to get the rest of the team pumped. Contact on Jamison on the centre pass on Bruce, almost should have taken it. Al Punchin very active in that circle. Ready to have a go. Terrific spring. Queensland up by three, 22-19.
Keen, Guy Keen trying to make something happen with that drive. Oh, quick pass from Cook. Oh, that's interesting that was allowed to still be scored. The contact occurred on the opposite side of the post. Normally that should get placed there. Passion. Bruce just looks straight into the circle. Well done, Al Punchin. Gets a hand on it. Makes it go out of court. That's exactly what you want. Force another ball. Robertson, well offside in that attempt. Bruce, always looking to pass off. Junior Levi just reminding the umpires that he has been hit on that with a bit of an exaggerated walk off. He may be a big body, but sometimes umpires do let the bigger bodies get it hit a few more times. And maybe he's just come, just remember I'm here. I do get hit as well. Jamison across court to Robertson. Keane. Simmons dodges twice, three times. Passion. That was much better defense by Queensland through there. Look, a late contact by Gary Passion, but I think much better pressure, and that's what we've been looking for. Larry with the contact. Walker under the post. Draws a margin back to two. Just over five gone in the second quarter. Winner of this game will play in the final. Oh, Good pick well up by up. Simmons. Contact on Ormisha. And he didn't. It was well picked up by Simons there. He made sure that he was able to get the ball off to someone if necessary. Took it, did not step on. Good take, Tim Walker. Yeah, mismatch there. Kerr back at the post. Lowry hunting out. Vicks draw it back to one with the centre pass to follow. Cook hanging back on the second phase, but Simmons was covered there. And on the drive, Simmons having a much better game than he did against New South Wales last night. Bit of a late contact there, or Mesha. Just letting the wing attack know, trying to slow the feed by getting that contact. The thing is, Andrew Simons gets a bit fired up when that happens in a good way, and he actually lifts it in the intensity. Contact on that occasion, 23 all second quarter. If you're on Twitter, get at us at Amna Men's Mixed and Instagram Australian Men's Netball. We've had great coverage from B Live the past couple of days. We've got people watching in Barbados, Jamaica, Sweden. Hope you're enjoying it. And in their couch in their pyjamas back in Melbourne as well. <laughs> <laughs> Cook, Robertson. Jamison looking for a quick one too, Robbo. Not Drew really. the player well there. Open up the space for Guy Keane. But Guy Keane, probably by stepping on there, drew the attention of the fact he's holding the ball. Probably a little bit of a quick one. They just weren't the options there in front of him. When you give it three looks, the umpire tends to make that three seconds. Levi gave himself a lot of space to drive into the backspace. And on the Vic centre pass, Queensland convert. Schultz has lost his bib. Just as he slid through past Robertson then, and I think maybe a bit of bib to bib action. <laughs> Passion. Had a groin injury early in the week. Seems to have recovered pretty well. And the confidence from the Queenslanders that Junior's going to sink that already back to the transverse line. Looking to shore up the defensive efforts on the Victorian centre pass. Good bounce pass from Robertson to oh, Keane again via the floorboards. Simo hitting the top of the circle there. Walker with the shot. Back to two. Schultz, Passion, back to Ormisha, Kerr. Schultz driving through the middle of that Victorian press. Robertson gave it a crack. And this is when Queensland are best in attack. When they're patient, they kick it back and then someone punches through the middle. Don't need to force it. Plenty of time. Again, good space held by Levi. It's hard to defend. Lead back out to three. It's a massive workload for the young fella, Al Punchin and Keeper there. He has given his absolute all. Oh, well picked up by Stephen Kerr. It was Simon saw the opening to Tim Walker, got the release. Walker couldn't quite pull it in. Oh, sneaky obstruction there. 
Daniel Cook. Just, just stuck the arm out in the hope. Wasn't a bad backhand down the line, actually. <laughs> Players aren't looking too excited about going to get the ball. Kirk, passion. Schultz straight into Levi. They are looking to him every single time. And I think it's working best for him when they force him that little bit higher. If you can get him on the layup at least, you've got more of a chance than when he's in that set position right yep. in front of it. Definitely. So the margin, the biggest of the match so far at four. Turnover though on the Queensland centre pass. Keen Ooh. looking for a quick play. Gary Passion struggling a little bit on the run now. He's had a go at a few of those balls. I can see a change potentially come in here for them. Cook needs to sink those. Ormisha, Lowry. And this Kerr. is that patience I talked about. Just wait for it, wait for it, opens up. Good attempt, James Robertson. Almost got there. Just a fraction late. Penalty in the centre third through Ormisha. Levi just telling him to shorten it up. Jamison called for contact, top of the circle, outside. Bruce, will he pass it? He sure will. Yeah, he just waited for that jump from El Punchin to land. If El had just kept that a little bit longer, I think he might have been able to get hands to it as it was getting passed because it would have been running out of time on that shot. So under five to go in the second quarter. Lead is five to Queensland. Lead the quarter break 14 to seven. Jamison, Simmons, Cook. Simmons looking again and Passion just with a little love tap around the shoulder. Oh, nice open by Tim Walker there. Yeah, Cook and drove wide there. And it really up. did draw because you can't leave Cook alone. And this is one of the things that Victorian Tech need to keep doing. Get Cook isolating. Good hands, Andrew Simons. Tim Walker was there in support, got the pick up. Guy Keen quick to play that on. Thought that might have gone over the baseline, but Walker delivers. And yeah, my depth perception down that end hasn't been great. I thought the same thing for a moment there. Walker wearing a size smaller in the shoe today, just so he can keep his oh, toes. Victoria just got to let that ball go to that driver. They're waiting for a better option, but that driver's there. Let the ball go to him. Go again. That was their problem against New South Wales yesterday. They, uh, they really hesitated in the pass. They didn't pass it to the first option, and that's why they gave away so much ball. Oh, well done, attacking. Andrew Simons. That's twice now he's worked hard to get that back. It's need to reward that good work. Instruction from Ormisha. Cook out wide again, and Walker just knows when to pop. Brings the margin back to two. Queensland through. Victorian bench imploring Guy King not to step on there. There's a couple in a row that he's probably forced just from the step on. He needs to relax his feet again. Keen by name by nature. Just needs to, yeah, settle down a little. I don't think that's a bad obstruction to get there, Will Jamison. Gives Al Punchin a chance to have a go at this ball again. He's trying to work around the body as much as he can. Surely Bruce won't pass this one off. No, that's he does. Oh. Just as uh, he sees the eyes down, takes advantage of it. Al Punchin was working round, round, and round. He was absolutely like a clock then. Simmons, Keane, Vix on the attack. Lowry, maybe a bit unlucky. The Queensland on that bench, thinking he got that cleanly. Maybe it was a bit going for the punch there. AFL footy style defensively. I wouldn't mind seeing Fraser Lowry go the grab on that. I think he could get it. And because he's going the tap, he's probably going to get the contact called. Yeah, two hands nice out. drive, Andrew Simons. Robertson, back to Keane. Cook. Oh, oh, bullet pass again from Cook into Walker. You could hear the sound on that ball. Oh, absolutely Thump. flying through the air. Thumped against his chest. Such a smart player, Daniel Cook. Margin back to one. Vix have a chance to draw it. Lowry almost got a fingertip to it and decepted again. Fake to Keane, straight into Walker. 30 all with a minute to go in the second. Stephen Kerr just caught behind the body of Tim Walker there. 
Just over a minute to go. Queensland went and want to score again on here, these. Because they'd had such a good one to get up, you want to consolidate. Don't give Victoria the lead going into the break. Schultz. Good attempt, Will Jamison. Levi. Wasn't far off it. He was very lucky not to touch the ring there, Junior Levi. He seemed to hold on to the ball a bit longer. Just ensuring Al Punching couldn't get a hand to it. Victoria trying to be maybe the last scorer in the second quarter. Oh, Ormashat has a crack at it. Good obstruction there, I think. Contact there, sorry. For just Schultz. a chance to just take a second or so. Bit. But Cook, that was a good turn from Walker. They've got to look in here. They do, Levi. Uh, I tell you what, Junior Levi's feet on a couple of these longer ones. I'm a bit worried that then he's not actually getting the clean footwork. He was called for stepping yesterday. Didn't like it. And Vix can't convert that last centre pass. So Queensland lead 32 to 31 at half time. It's the major semi final in the Vic Open Division. Sorry, the men's open division. Victoria up against Queensland.
So Queensland taking that second quarter 17 to 14. A change to Victoria in that halftime break. Looks like Tori Allen is coming on at wing defence and James Robertson to the bench. Is that a move you would have made, Matt? I'm not surprised by the move. I think James Robinson was having a terrific game there, but just keep that pressure on that line. I think will be their instruction there. Tory Allen, he's an absolute goer as a wing defence. He gets in and around. He will really make the wing attacks for Queensland work and work and work until they can't work anymore. <laughs> and he's got, he's got a terrific drive out of defence as well. For a number of years with New South Wales 23s, he was so strong through that drive. Yep. And I think that's an option he can bring. Maybe just to give that bit of stronger drive so people can let the ball go to him. Yeah, Tori, part of the New South Wales 23 and under championship winning team last year. A crucial part of that team, I must say, after coming back from his ACL injury Definitely. the year before. Feels like he's in better form this year than last year. Yeah, I think he's carrying on from his Australian form that he also had. He, he's just continually progressed with that. Australian 23s, he was selected in and went to New Zealand, had a terrific tournament over there. So Queensland to get us underway in the third. They lead 32 to 31. No changes to Queensland. They were happy with how they went about that second quarter. Good D, Al Punchin. And the replay call on Levi. Given a clear instruction on that break, obviously Al Punchin. Go stand in front of me on that shot. Don't let him step it up into do not move. And got the ball rightly so. I don't think that's a bad tactic defensively as well. Stop trying to match him in the air the entire time. Every now and then, just get in his face. If he's going to step up that long shot, force him to go through you. Mix it up. Make him think about what you're going to do. Ormusha. Quick one, two with passion. And now with Kerr, and he's stuck. Back to Lowry. Kerr. Victoria, this press is high. Kerr. Over the mess there. Oh, Punchin. Al Punchin comes out of the circle, has a crack. Jamison gets hand to ball. Throw in to Queensland. Umpire probably not in the right spot to see what transpired in that corner. And Will Jamison just letting them know that, hey, they did contact me. You probably should have given me the ball. Classic that happens at these tournaments. Players get so sweaty. The rogue bibs. Bodies flying everywhere. They don't even notice them on the ground. <laughs> so in the contest. Victoria looking to get their first of the third quarter. Jamie Bruce doing a lot of defensive work at that line, really trying to hold up the attackers, keeping the pressure on there. Oh, great hands, Lowry and Kerr. Gary Passion trying to indicate to the umpire, give it to us, point the other direction. Cook, quick um, take of that throw in and still a little bit of hesitation out of that ball outside the circle from the Vix. Bring the margin back to one. Day six of the 2017 Australian Men's and Mixed Netball Champs. Live from the Gold Coast Sports and Leisure Centre. It's a brand new building. It'll be used for badminton for the 2018 Com Games next April. Tori Allen's already come out working really tight one-on-one -on -one in there. He's not necessarily going to go for too many intercepts, I don't think, but really try and grind down their midcourt. Just needs a little bit more support from Guy Keane there. They probably just need to get a bit of torque through there. Allen, nice drive, Will Jamison. Jamison. Cook and Dean on the fly. Wormisher out on the contact. That's well within Cook's range. Just turn and put it up. At least draw a defender, because they're happy to stand back on Walker. But terrific shot. He's so reliable. Passion, Bruce, Schultz, Allen, hunting around for where that ball's gonna go. Ooh, was that a bit of a fend off by Junior? I'm not quite sure, but he ripped the ball in. There's. We're not seeing that same transverse line pressure from Victoria. Maybe they decide not to run the ball. I just think Will Jamison, Guy Keane, probably need to step up their talk across there. They're both terrific leaders of this team. Need to really help Tori Allen get into that game through there. 
Cook fakes on the shot. Probably should have backed himself. Simon's outside. No. Penalty to Keane. Oh, Keen. give that ball. Simon's again. Cook further out than on the first take. So patient, though. Doesn't let it phase him that the ball hasn't come in necessarily exactly where he wants it. He just keeps going, repositions, but doesn't force anything. Passion stuck. Schultz, Passion. Allen directing traffic. Queen's, uh, Victoria press is on. Yeah, much better defense than Victorians here. The press does work for them. They're it. so strong in that six. And Kurt looks through the mess, straight to the goal circle. Margin back out to two. Simons, Walker. He's... Oh. <laughs> Does not want the shot from distance. Wanted to give the little step up, but the defenders from Queensland all over it. Not giving him a chance. The shot taken. I'm not sure that that was probably right. Kerr wasn't out of play, so it was advantage to Queensland on that. Schultz, Ormisha. Oh, quick help ball. Probably not even his call in the other foot. <laughs> it was smack bang in the middle. One foot either side of halfway. Oh, point. rare miss from Daniel Cook. But Fraser Lowry not able to get the rebound though. Great rebound though. Shortest player in that circle. And gives it off to Walker to take the penalty. There's been a number of times that the umpires across this tournament called that shot taken. I think they really are stamping down well on those goalers trying to get away with the extra shot. Any. Terrific jump. Just probably a little bit close. Junior Levi not faced at all. Keane, Cook, Simons, about 38 dodges before he broke free. But that's the thing with him as well. He will keep going until he does get there. It's like an energizer bunny. Absolutely. And he wants it at the top of the circle. He will keep working until he get it where he wants it. Allen, good cover. Just missed on the stretch from Schultz. Jamison. Jamison probably just sucked in a little bit there, trying to go a bit too much body. He's a smarter player than that. I think he can get those calls. Levi, cool as you like. 38-36. Oh, bit of miscommunication this line. Despite the fact they've played so many years together and they play M League together, Daniel Cook and Andrew Simons. Larry with the tip, Ooh. but his free pass. Oh, I, I think after both of those players hit the ground, they're quite sweaty players. There's going to be a fair smear that the players will slip on if it doesn't get cleaned up. I think it was an offside call to Ormisha there, but Larry with a good tip. Robertson testing every inch of the floor to make sure it's sweat free. Still keeping that two goal margin this quarter, Queensland. Oh, we've noticed more smears on the ground. James Robertson being a quality towel boy here. Probably could get the full time gig. I, I think in some of these games you do need a full time gig as a towel boy. There's a lot of bodies go flying. A lot of sweat needs to be cleaned up. Another offside call gives Cook the free pass. Go to post, Daniel Cook. Oh, what an offload, though. He's gone, yeah, well, I've taken this. Brings the margin back to one, halfway through the third. Certainly a tighter Oh, they're start. jamming that up on that side of the court. The really third. good defensively. Bruce struggling to get free on Keane. Torrey Allen in the air on that. That was terrific early pressure from Victoria. They really worked hard to keep that six set up that they've got right across the court. They kept as many plays as they could in there as well. Made it tough for Queensland to get that goal. Cook on the drive just doesn't want to shoot today. And Kerr first hands gets the possession call. Tim Walker, Walker not happy with it. But he's not out. Can contest the pass, Ormisha. What was pleasing with that, though, was he was willing to fight for it. He went, I'm going to get this ball if they're not going to give it. And that's what you want from goalers. If the ball's not coming in perfectly, you want them fighting for it. So every time, 
there's doubt from the defenders. That was the perfectly placed pass there from Bruce. Takes the margin to three with the Queensland centre pass. Passion, Bruce, Passion. Levi calling for it early. Good hand from Keane. They're looking for, for a contact. double back in the circle now. Will Jamison's dropped in. Probably just need to try and talk to Al Punch a bit more. He's the experienced defender there, Will Jamison. Give Al a little bit of confidence. I think he'll be good. Victoria through Cook. Allen. Just waiting for that option there, Diamonds. Daniel Cook. Pa so patient. Waits for the dodge to the other side. Lowry hoping to get away with the <laughs> rebound there. Cook had only put it up as it was being called. But as a defender, why not? Absolutely. It's their job to try and get away with as much as possible. Spot on. And the thing is, with the way these goals have been going, you're going to get a couple of those go your way. So you just fight for it. Be clean about it, as he was. And it can only work in your favour as the game goes on. Queensland, Ooh, a little stuck. Bit of a panic pass, Schultz. Looked to be a little high, but made it count in the end. Margin back out to four. Guy Keen. To Gave Allen. a sneaky look back just to indicate to Tori, hey, I want you to come give some support. Let's change up our setup. Tori goes wide. And again to Simons. Oh, now the, the court opens up for them. And taken quickly from Walker. I don't think that's a bad tactic by Victoria. Just do a nice quick goal there. Don't even give the defenders a chance to set up. Now on the defence again. Try and peg one back before the three-quarter break. Kurt stuck And here's that shot. six pressure from the Victorians again. Oh, Will Jamison. Like to see you have a go at that. When in doubt. Maybe he wasn't quite sure he could get there on that particular occasion. Straight into Levi. Just a little bit of communication in back play between Jamison and Punchin about probably how to attack the next couple of balls in the last four minutes before three-quarter time. Holding call on Kurt. That's good to see from Will as well. He's spoken to Punchin and he's just going, hey, let's do this. He's using his experience there. And Alan. Probably just giving a bit of a positive talk going, yes, you can get to those. Tips that one out. Passion. Kurt straight Long ball to Levi. And the four goal margin is restored. Timeout called by Daniel Cook and Brady Roberts will come on at goal attack for Victoria. Just an injection of a Fresh head of legs here. Brody is so fast in attack, so creative. I'm not sure that the defence is going to be able to keep up with him at all. They probably and just looked and went, it's not coming through that transverse just as good as we'd like. Certainly willing to put up the shot. Allen. Oh, Allen, terrific. Gets Jamison close by onto Keane. Roberts, Simons. And that was a good reward for Tori Allen's hard work there. He's been so tight and defensively, he was able to have a come off and have a go without it being seen. Slipped out of the hands there of Simons outside the circle. Queensland looking to restore Queensland that. are feeding this so well at the moment. They're not always giving a high ball. A caution to Punchin for deliberate attempts at tendering, tending, I should say, trying to push. The I think ball it's probably through. a little bit unfair. He's not actually going the whole way up through. He's just more contestant after the goal scored. I don't think there's any malice in it, but Junior Levi seemed to be pretty happy that the call was made. Contact on Simons there on the centre pass. We've still got under, just under three minutes to go. And Again, I'll be keeping an eye on that footwork of Junior Levi on that spin around and lay up. There may have been a bit of a lift and rig round. Good angle, Andrew Stretch, Simons. Great good take. offer from Allen. Good dodge from Keane. Roberts bringing a little bit of spark to the Victorian attack end. And Ooh. gets the rebound after Kerm his time to jump. In precisely the same spot he was as well. Made it count though. 46-43. Two and a half minutes remaining 
in the third quarter. Still anyone's game. Grand final for the Open men's at 1 o'clock tomorrow on court one. Expecting a crowd of about 2,000 here. Oh, great attempt there by Al Punchin. Forces the ball onto the edge of the ring. Unfortunately, Junior Levi already up there to be able to pull it down. Victoria, play it back to play it forward. They're still struggling from that centre through to the transverse. I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit of a give and go from Tori Allen and Will Jamison there. I think they can get it up to that transverse. It'll just open up the space a little bit more, despite the pressure that's come from Jamie Bruce. Passion, Bruce Schultz looks to Levi, doesn't pass it, but Passion does. I punch him working his little legs off there. He was getting round, 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 try getting in front, just mistimed it. Victoria, need a bit more defensive pressure on the centre pass. Allen to Keane, Roberts, Simons. Roberts happy to shoot, dribbles that one home. A little bit short initially, but bounce in. He'll be happy with that still. He'll correct that on his next shot. Less than a minute remaining in the third quarter. Queensland. Well, Al Punchin thought about it just <laughs> a little bit too long. He had a look. I think if he'd gone when he first saw it, he would have got to that. But Simons can Victoria score again before... Guy Keane just sees the eyes of the defenders down then. Terrific ball in. Opened up on the right-hand side of the court. Plenty yep. of time here for Queensland. And they look straight into Levi. And oh, possession in tall. Interesting now call contact there. to Levi. Al Punch and rips it in. He goes, yes, that's mine. I thought that was a terrific effort there. I would have thought from here it looked like Junior Levi actually had first possession, but good on El Punch for having a crack. Yeah, got first hand to it. Umpire was in a good position. Queensland, though, take a 49 to 46 lead at three quarter time. It is the major semi final of the Open Men's Division. Queensland lead Victoria. So three-quarter time, Queensland by three goals against Victoria in the Open Men's Division. Major semi-final here at the 2017 Australian Men's and Mixed Netball Champs. 
What did you think of the injection of Roberts in those final few minutes? Look, I think he brought a bit of an energy to that attack line because they certainly were struggling across that transverse line. I think similarly, the change of Tory Allen at wing defence just gave a bit of tighter pressure there. He was, he was body, body, body. They just needed a bit of excitement through that attack. Just that little bit of a change. Hopefully it's enough to keep them going. Doesn't look to be any changes to either side. Victoria will have the first centre pass. Keane, Roberts. Back to Allen. Jamison, Keane, Ormesha well gets Ormesha. a hand to it. Tips it out. Nice drive there, Brody Roberts. Just pops open, finishes. First goal of the final quarter. He's so good at that split as well. That's an absolute trademark of his game. Such a wide split. Uses those long legs to his absolute advantage. Bruce, uh, sorry, Kerr really hesitating on that pass to Ormisha, even though he was wide open. Great hand, Stephen Kerr. Oh, just gets called for it. I thought the umpire said, yeah, you're fine. Obviously not. I think it was probably a bit of a late call also. Offside call. Viking hoping for the contact there. <laughs> probably lucky himself with a bit of a fend off. And Lowry with a, a knee indicated by the umpire there. The Walker. umpire's made it clear what the, each of those calls are for, so those players have just got to adjust. Victoria, chance to draw level, early stages of the last quarter. Keane, Roberts looking for someone. Simon's on the outside, Roberts. Uh, Brody Roberts should turn and look at that. More than capable from range. <laughs> Terrific shot though. Ties it up, 49 apiece. Victoria have come out firing it from this break. A lot of determination, a lot of talk from their bench as well. Leeds being cut off left, right and centre, but Passion straight Ooh. into Levi. Can't handle it, and thought, Victoria come up with it. Thought there was going to be too much on that ball. Levi had been pulling those ones in, maybe getting a little bit tired, unable to keep the feet. Great play down court there from Victoria. Really open. Good footwork from Roberts. Not a question after that finish of the shot. They first, capitalized on that completely. First time in a long time, Victoria take the lead and have a chance to take it to two. Quick ball from Keane, Walker, goal. That's a five goal turnaround. In fact, that is the first five goals of this last quarter. Allen. Allen. Terrific job. He was in front of Jamie Bruce the entire time there, attacked the ball, forced him to go through. Simons, now looking again, Roberts, Really delicate footwork, Passion. Gary Passion just slowing that ball down a little bit, just making sure they're not getting the easy ball from the pocket in. Just had a look too at the court to see where the umpire thought he had gone offside. Queensland clearly need to do something to lift here. They've got to get a bit of enthusiasm, they've got to lift. Larry doesn't look comfortable. The Victoria bench really letting the umpires and the Queensland players know that they've only got 30 seconds to get off the court on injury time. Fraser Lowry maybe just copped a bit of a knock there. And I'm not Meredith. sure this change is going to work for them though. Meredith. Caleb Meredith wasn't very effective early. Let's see what they do. I think he might lack a bit of elevation too at goalkeeper. We'll see. How that transpires. Victoria, chance to take it to four. Roberts, strong drive. Drew Meredith is back again. This time with the shot. Oh, it's off. Pushes it a bit to the right there, Brody Roberts. It would work really hard to get this back now. Queensland struggling outside the box. Oh, that terrific talk on. from the Victorians. Kurt. Finds Schultz. 
Back to Ormisha. Short to Kerr. Levi well out of the circle. Schultz. Al Puncher meets him well, forces back. It's up in the air. Great take by Junior Levi. Scores on the Victorian centre pass. Margin back to two. Passion, Bruce. To Schultz. Kerr. Straight into Levi. Just puts enough flight on that ball as well, so Al Puncher couldn't get there. Margin back to one. After the Vicks scored the first six of the last quarter. Now, Vicks have been working really hard in attack there, but maybe they're starting to tire a little bit. They drop back, try changing up. Much better when they just go straight at it hard. Walker out of the circle himself that time. Passion, Bruce, Passion. Bruce's Simon. work rate through the attack and defence has been terrific. He just keeps going, going, going. I think this is the fullest game I've seen of, of Tommy Bruce running out of game without tiring. And incredibly good pressure on the Victorian centre pass at the transverse line too, but Jamison got good hand to that to take. Where are our options, Victoria? The tip. Ian back plays to Allen. Terrific Simmons drive. Allen. He's so valuable at that. Guy Keane just floating up the court a bit, trying to be in support. Really needs to strike a drive through. Oh, and a three second call that time. The circle on Simmons. Meredith. Kerr. He's looking for that connection from Guy Keane. It came just a little bit too late for the umpire's liking. Victoria are loving this press. Through the middle though, Schultz. Oh, let the ball go. Passion to Bruce. Bruce looking straight into Ooh. Levi. Oh, footwork again there. Slightly questionable. Jamison. Will Jamison, what a Keeps chase. It Back up from Allen. That was fantastic chase by Will Jamison. Good hold Tory up from Allen. Allen there too. Terrific. Good hold up from Allen too. He saw Jamison long, but Bruce was hunting. And when Will Jamison does that, he's so deadly there. Now, I want to see Junior Levi stick a couple of these balls that aren't maybe exactly where he wants them. Because Queensland need that. They need him to do that to stay in the game. Good defensive pressure, though. Yeah, just succumbing to it. Queensland's own zone through the middle. Just need a driver help through Keane and quickly plays it on. Simons waits for the move from Walker. Pushing it back out to three with their centre pass again. Roberts holds it up. Keane. Roberts. Looking for the gaps to open to Walker. Kerr was waiting for the pass across to Simmons. I think Queensland are really missing their uh, sick defender, Cole Gray, right now. Just as that other option there. I think he'll provide something different to what Meredith and what Kerr are currently providing with Fraser Lowry off the court. Yeah, apparently appendicitis was his uh, illness. Yeah, he had his appendix out yesterday, day before, I believe. After playing a terrific game the night before that, he's... Wouldn't have then, known he was ill. Next minute, he's in hospital. Getting that out. Such a trooper, Cole Gray. And we do wish him well. One of the nicest men in men's netball. He's probably watching. He's probably yelling at the screen <laughs> right at this minute. Trying to get these Queensland boys to lift. Yeah, Kurt. Brody Roberts. Probably could have... Terrific drive chosen to come out on Roberts. Roberts is going to take that space all day and the lead for the Vicks is four. It's their biggest margin probably of the game. I don't think they led oh, by four. Oh, Puncher nearly quarter. gets it. Junior Levi's out really wide. And what's so exciting about this injection of Brody Roberts for the end of last quarter in this one is he's still so young. He's such an exciting talent. Contact on the ball from Puncher. Just over six remaining in this major semi-final the loser to play again at 7 o'clock against the winner of New South Wales and WA. That game being played at the moment on court three. And the winner gets a nice rest and we'll see them back here at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Passion, Kerr, Ormisha. Hand in there from... And if I was Queensland right now, I'd be giving absolutely everything I can to win this game. Because it's going to be a tough prelim final. So, the competition has been so close this year. 
but you cannot afford any loss. I certainly think that uh, New South Wales have built over the tournament. Only lost to Queensland by two goals. And well, Jamison just drawing a contact outside the circle there. Against Victoria by two goals also. So the reason why they finished third was they just didn't beat the other teams, Western Australia and South Australia, by enough in their two matches. Yep. It's a year where the top three all came down to percentage. Which is what you want to see, great competition. Oh. And I, I really believe that any three of these teams could win it. But at this stage, it's still Victoria, three goals up, five minutes to go. And through the hands of Keane, Schulz comes up with it. Queensland on the attack. Bruce dives in, comes back out. Passion, stuck. Back to Ormisha. Al Punchin just getting a little contact call out, so I'm not quite sure what happened. I wasn't looking at that particular play. Terrible feed in from Gary Passion. Neither goaler was ready for that. That's one that they've got to take. Should have been a basic screen. That could well determine the match. And that could be a costly turnover for the Queenslanders. Victoria looking to probably play it around a little bit quicker. Just over four minutes remaining. Lead is three. Oh, terrific drive, Andrew Simons. A textbook from him. We haven't seen as much of that today from him as we normally would, but he does love giving that ball back, and he's so solid on the drive. Queensland with a centre pass, trying to bring the margin back to three. Passion just goes straight up to Levi. Contact on Jamison. Obstruction. On Punchin, I didn't mind Levi. that attempt by both Jamison and Punchin either. Trying to take advantage of loose ball. The fact that Junior hasn't taken all of them. Good decoy from Simons and Walker. Open on the other side of the court. Good feed from Guy Keane. The Victorian bench. Keeping that four goal margin now. I think it's going to be a bit tough for Queensland to come back from here. Victoria are applying a lot of pressure. I guess the fault in pushing up so high too, it does leave a one-on-one -on -one to punch in on Levi. And Queensland throughout this match have been quite content to let that ball go. Oh, uh, that was not a turnover Victoria needed there. Simons Queensland just they got to score here. Very lucky there, I think, Junior Levi. Jameson found his position, Jim. got his arm up, pushed through. That was a crucial turnover for Queensland. Because that, before that, all Vic needed to do was hold their centres, be patient on the centres. If the ball's going in Junior Levi long every time, that's fine. Hold your centres for this last couple of minutes. So just under two and a half minutes remaining. Lead is two to Victoria. Passion. Levi scores, bring the margin back to one Victorian centre pass. Queensland need a break. If they're going to have any chance at winning. Oh, Caleb Meredith finally brings up an intercept. He's been quiet there, but I'll tell you what, that is a perfect timing for that ball. Bruce. Oh, step call on Jamie Bruce. Maybe it was short pass. Thinking it was a step call. I'm not sure about it, but. But they've got to keep the pressure on here, Queensland. They want the ball back. There's still that one goal down. 90 seconds remaining in the game. Victoria by one, 59-58. The loser to play again in just a matter of hours. Allen to Roberts. Oh, and back to Allen. It was a bit of a the ball kick that misdirected so pass. Easily. Schultz and Brute, whilst putting pressure there, Schultz needed to have a go at that ball. Come off and have a go. You can't let a ball go back in the air. Roberts drives hard. Walker out jumps Kurt. Puts him back to two now. Queensland got to get this centre pass. Minute 30 to go. Our clock, unfortunately, a bit off with the, Game the clock. match clock. Injuries wiping up the court, have thrown it out slightly. Passion Gary goes Passion. straight to Levi. As you would expect, Punchant loses his bib. 
Victoria by two. Oh, need, you need to sink that shot, Junior Levi. And Victorian centre pass. Roberts. Must get a turnover. Allen. Must get a Looks turnover. Looks long to Simons. Simons finds that ball so easily. Gets it to Walker. Cool. Just under a minute to go now. Got to get the ball in. Umpire calls time for a bib. Victoria leading this last quarter, 15-10. Could be telling. Got to let that ball straight in. Contact on Jamison. Victorian centre pass. Clinton trying to make them take it quickly. Simons. All they've got to do is hold Kenny. on to it here, Victoria. Nothing stupid. Jamison. Nothing stupid. Roberts. If we go to extra time, it'll be two three-minute halves. Queensland, you've got to push up on this. You can't give them any space to kick it back because all they're going to do is hold it up. Great Allen. swing ball there, Allen. Provides a ball for Keane. Who's now circle edge Roberts out of the circle. Oh, quick held ball. Quick held ball. Queensland have got to get this ball Meredith. moving. Got to get the ball moving. Keane with a deliberate obstruction. And that's a caution to Guy Keane. Kerr. Passion. And Victoria have done it, 61-60, held on in that final second. That ball is destined for Junior Levi. Oh, what an incredible finish to that game. Queensland probably should have given that even straight from the transverse line with how long it was to go. Yeah, that pass to Kerr was probably ate up about half a second that it could have gone in. So Victoria straight into the final of the Open Division for 2017. Well, he's still catching his breath, but Andrew Simons, Victorian wing attack, is with us. Andrew, tremendous game, one goal victory in the end. Yeah, we got it done. We had a big chat after our day yesterday. It's about playing for each other, valuing the ball, and we did it today. And credit to the guys, we pulled it off. Made it a little bit difficult for ourselves in that last five minutes, but hard work pays off. You now get a bit of a break between now and the one o'clock game tomorrow afternoon. What's the, the sort of things that you kind of go to do when you get back to the hotel? Recover recover, recover. Um, we're going to have a tough game tomorrow against uh, either New South or Queensland. Both we've had a one win and one loss against. 
going to go home, probably come back um, and watch the game and then go home and do more homework. So with the live streaming tool, you'll be able to use that game, that footage as, as preparation. Um, that must be a huge benefit to uh, men's netball. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think um, the live streaming is such a wonderful thing. We've got hundreds of thousands of people all across the world tuning in, seeing this wonderful sport that we play because we love. We'll see you back here at 1 o'clock tomorrow. Definitely. Well done. Thank you.